if you are new to my channel, here's your previously on Tom Choo Choo. I used to be a mud bunger, and then I quit to start keto, and then I got a horrible keto rash, so I stopped. So I have been posting my old mud bun videos before I lost all my old videos due to merging my personal account to a brand account. I lost everything, and now I'm building it back from scratch. Loser. With that said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so I can move on with my story. Choo choo! <coughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom. You know, I actually want to go to KFC to get their Krispy Kreme donuts with fried chicken sandwich. But, you know what? Apparently, not all KFC has it. And especially the one that I went to around my area did not serve it. So, I have decided to just grab chicken tenders and donuts to make my own donut chicken sandwich. So the chicken tender is from Crispy Crunch Chicken Recipe. <laughs> I have to see it because I, I can't remember it. Loser. Let's dig in before we get into our topic. Ooh. Ooh, check this out. The sauce, yeah. Okay. I want to add spicy sauce in there. Yes. Okay. I am going to open up my donut because I feel like it's too sinful. It's too gluttony if I just have a whole donut. Like, I don't think I will do it. I mean, I don't think I can do it. So, bear with me here. All right. Should I put sauce on there? Yeah, I shall. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know what to do with this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. <laughs> oh well. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, the sugar, the sugar, the carb, and the chicken. It's a very interesting combination. Mmm. And they also come with the uh, potato wedges. So. Mmm. Oh. It's not that spicy. Oh. Mm. Oh, I'm totally going to do it again. The chicken tender is really juicy. I was surprised because I always get Popeyes. They're really good. Mm. One more bite before I get into my topic. As you can see on the thumbnail, I dream of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not Christian or anything. Some say I dream of Lucifer, but I don't know. He, uh, he reminds me of Jesus Christ. Well, at least in my head, it was Jesus Christ in my dream. But why did I dream of Jesus Christ? I'm not even religious, guys. So this had to go back to all the way of what I did in the morning. I was working as a video photographer and recording for this promotion of a new church that was um, just really, it was really close to my house. So my friend asked me because she goes to that church and they, they wanted to do a promo video. So my job was 
try to uh, video taping around the church and see the activities that they do. And of course, you know, they, they, they did it on the Sunday, which they had a uh, ceremony. It's a Chinese church. I would say it's a Taiwanese church. Um, I don't remember the name of the church, but whatever. It's not a big deal. What happened was, while I was filming the ceremony, the preacher gave a speech. And the speech was about uh, the Taiwanese politics and how gay marriage was ruining the Taiwanese um, society. I was like, what? While I was filming, I was like, what? The fact that they didn't know I was gay and I was filming for them, it was kind of an irony of it. But I was getting a little bit pissed off because the preacher was saying how gay people, and it was during the time when uh, Taiwanese gay marriage was not legalized. So he was, they were saying there were a lot of bad influence that's uh, corrupting the community in Taiwan. Aww. Whatever, we won. So, you all Taiwanese closed off people can shove it. <coughs> what does it have to do with um, my dream? So while the preacher was saying all these negative things about gay people, I didn't record any of it. Not because I didn't want to record it, it's because my microphone was out of battery, so I could not record any sound. With that said, I went to change the battery in the middle of it because I thought, oh, I still need to keep the, the footage together since I'm not editing it, so I, I'm not just going to put music on top of whatever she was saying, but I need sound in order to sync, you know. For those editors, you know what I mean. So when I was changing the battery, you know how roll mic, the the cap, it you have to press it really hard down in order to close it. For some reason, some weird reason, I couldn't close it. So I was like, why? What's going on? I keep pushing it. I tried different ways. It just couldn't work. Finally. When I press it down and got it to work, the speech was over. Dun dun dun. It was weird, right? So I got a little bit upset of my friend because she's a huge supporter in the gay community. But she goes to this church where there were a lot of anti-gay people. I was like, whatever. I got my job done, so if you pay me. <coughs> but when I got home, I guess I was thinking about it all day. That I saw dreaming about it. But before I share, please like and subscribe and leave comments down below. What do you think about what happened? Was it just because scientifically my battery was dead while doing that crucial speech about anti-gay marriage? Or something had happened to do with supernatural? Was that because of Jesus? Was it because Jesus didn't want that to leak out to the public because you know me if I really film something like that I'm going to put it on my YouTube and become a millionaire I'm gonna have so much views about this anti-gay movement <laughs> and Jesus just didn't want to do it I mean God didn't want me to put it out there This is good, by the way. Really good. 
Oh. So about the dream I had, I dream of I already had a conversation with Jesus, and I was mad at telling him that why do you let all your people talking crap about a community that doesn't even involve with your social norm, and even they weren't religious or anything. Why would you want to bad mouthing gay people? Like they didn't do anything wrong to you. So I was pissed off. I was literally like screaming at Jesus. That's that's what I had in mind in my dream when I was talking to him. The setting was there's this ginormous window, and、uh, I was sitting at the corner. I was huddling up, actually sitting on the floor, huddling up in the corner, and Jesus was just、um, talking to me, like right next to a window, so we can see him, the lights shining through him. So maybe like he was so holified. If that is, it's not a word. Holified, radiant. There you go. That's a word. And right after I said it, I turned my head to the wall, hiding in the corner, and I just wanted to ignore Jesus. Wow, I was crazy. <laughs> It's true, though. Like, gay people didn't do anything wrong to you. Why did you have to bad mouth it? Like, I was really pissed off at the preacher. That's what I mean. That's what Jesus said. He was in back of me, and then he walked closer to me, and he said, "You know me better. You should trust me." And he reached his hand out to me. And told me to come with him, and I was like, and when I turn my head back to him and about to look at him, that's when I wake up. Yeah, but did I forgive him because I was so mad during that time? I don't know. But because he's the the way that he was delivering his message was just so, like. I knew him somehow, and I trust him. So the fact that you know, I just don't get it. Like this dream, when I woke up, I was still puzzled because first of all, I didn't touch his hand. I wish I did, though. I then I would be like showing off to people, like, "Hey, I touched Jesus' hand in my dream," but I didn't. And was I mad? No, I was trying to figure out if I was forgiving him because. I trust him. Huh? It's just so bizarre, right? So, what do you guys think? What did that even mean? What? What's going on with all these dreams I had? You know? Sometimes I dream of like weird message that that I need to deliver to people, or dreams are just long and vague and very weird. Or sometimes I just has this kind of lucid dreams. That when I wake up, I still don't know what that means. If you know, please comment down below. So I address this to people. First of all, there's a saying in Chinese, "Um, 日有所思，夜有所梦 That means things that you do during the day, or think during the day, it will reoccurring at night. Or especially when you dream, maybe I was just mad at Jesus, or、well, mad at the church, doing all this thing to gay people. Oh my God, this honey biscuit is really sweet and crispy. So I asked a few friends who were.、Um, Who's a、uh, who's Christian? And I got these two answers from the the incidents where the camera didn't work while the preacher was giving out the speech. There's this first answer was it was because Jesus did not want this message to leak out so he can protect the people in the church, or at least this preacher. 
another one was um, they say, well, because that's not what Jesus believed in. Because he also believed that gay people should live the way they wanted to live, or believe what they wanted to believe. So, the message that the preacher was giving out was wrong. Well, actually, I have my own theory. It's because my camera, literally, the battery was dead, and I need to replace it. And for some weird reason, I just couldn't put it in. <laughs> mm. I'm digging this sauce. It's so good. It's so good. I don't think I can eat another donut. I'm not very big on donut, but once in a while, like like I just did, that donut was good. I mean, this donut is good. It just I'll probably get sick later. Watch me. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll do it in IG story. Anyway. So that's it for my story today. I know it's kind of a short story plus kind of weird and eerie. Uh, but it's all also very holy, right? I mean, I dream with Jesus. So please leave comment down below and like and subscribe and share this when you can. And please tell me what you want me to eat next time. And tell me what my dream meant. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.